Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you and bless your name tonight. We glorify you. We know that you can never fail. Your power will never fail. And we bring all our people before your leaders, workers, and members. And I invite each everyone tonight. We're praying, oh Lord, without any exception. You shower your blessings upon everyone in Jesus' name. The power of the word will penetrate everyone and drive out anything that is hiding there, even in every heart, everyone, in Jesus' name. Every plant the Heavenly Father has not planted in any of our lives here will be uprooted tonight. And you'll set your people free. Lord, as we read the word, as we study the word, as we hear the word, as we explain the word, enter into the word with your power and penetrate every life. Well, thank you because we know you have answered. We'll see wonderful things even today in every life in Jesus' name. We well, thank you because we know you have done it. In Jesus' name I pray. I thought you could do a better amen than that. Matthew chapter 4 and we're looking at verse 19. And he says unto them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. I'm talking to you now on the unique, special invitation of a lifetime. The unique, special invitation of a lifetime. Here is Peter. He's never heard somebody like this talking to him and saying what he said. Here is John. Here is James by the seaside doing what they have always done. And do what they knew to do. And here comes the master. The master of heaven and earth. Here comes the captain. The captain and the victor over every challenge of life. And he called them. And he said, life is going to have a new meaning. For you, life will have a new meaning. And he says, Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. I'm going to talk on three things. Number one, the seeker's situation. Seeker's situation. God never comes to somebody who is not seeking anything. Somebody is just riffraff, roaming about. What do you want in life? I don't know. What seekest thou? I don't know. What you'd want life to produce? I don't know. But these people, they left home. That's why they went to the seaside. They were looking for something. Peter was a married man. He has to look for something. He must feed his family. And because he was seeking for something, he told and told and told. All the night, he caught nothing. The seeker's situation. Number two, the supernatural solution. You came here tonight? Solution has come. That family problem, solution has come. That health condition, solution has come. And that predicament and restriction in your life, solution has come tonight. Number two, the supernatural solution. Number three, the Savior's satisfaction. There's going to be satisfaction here tonight. It's going to supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. That person outside there, I said the Lord is going to supply all your need according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. And my man there, my woman there, God is going to supply your need. It's going to satisfy you. There's satisfaction tonight. There's satisfaction tonight. All mountains will move away in Jesus' name. Very quickly before we pray, number one, the seeker's situation. What's the situation? Peter, talk to me. You want me to talk to you? I've been toiling, but I have nothing. I have job. I don't have any joy. I seek, but I don't find. I deny myself of a good night's rest, but it's all a waste. I'm looking for wealth. All I got is poverty. And then I toil myself to weakness and weariness and tiredness. And yet there's nothing to show for that. That's the seeker's situation. 
And then there's no peace. And then there's no prosperity. And then there's no security. And then there is so much loneliness. Loneliness. I'm all alone here. I do not have the things I ought to have. Look at your situation today. If I asked you, are you walking? I'm telling you, Pastor. I walk like an elephant. I eat like an ant. Do you have a bed to sleep on? You're asking me, Pastor. I have a bed to sleep on, but I cannot sleep. Because I just be tossing like this, like that. When I hear something move on the ceiling, I say they have come, they have come. The situation, the situation is I'm looking for this, I'm looking for this. Can you help me? Jesus will help you tonight. There is sickness and there is no healing. And there is poverty and there is no job. There is fear. That's the situation that we find ourselves fear without and fear within. Fear in the dark and fear in the day. Fear of our relatives and fear of the strangers. Fear everywhere. Attacks and affliction. And something walking about in the body. They say there's no slave trade anymore, but there's slavery because there's oppression. They say there's no slave trade anymore, but there's something that clamps us down. There's something that holds us back. There's something that cages us. And we're in the cage and we don't know how to come out. That's a seeker situation. And then there are some things that are mysterious. And we have this problem. And then I go to the hospital and I say, doctor, doctor, I'm dying. And the doctor looks at me and then he looks at all the x-ray. He says, ah, what did you say you are dying? You are healthier than I am. If I am your health, I'll be jumping up because uh, you are strong and you are healthy. You say, doctor, you, you didn't check up. Well, check up again. And he checked up again. They said everything is all right, but you know you're almost near the grave. That's the seeker situation. That's why Jesus comes to you tonight. He said, what they don't understand, I understand. And what they cannot solve, I can solve. And he comes to you tonight with a supernatural solution. Somebody there said it comes tonight with supernatural solution. At first, at first, it will look like can this work? Because Jesus now said, Peter, Simon, throw your net there for a catch. He said, I've been there before. I've cast my net there before. And I caught nothing. Actually, sir, pastor, sir, master, we have toiled all the night. And we caught nothing. But then he changed his mind. I pray you'll change your mind tonight. When he tells you what to do tonight, I pray you'll change your mind tonight. And you'll not give any excuse and say, uh, do you think I'm a pagan? I have a Bible. I read the Bible. I read the prayer book. Do you think I'm a pagan? I'm te I can tell you how many, how many days I've fasted. Do you think I'm a pagan? I've done that before. Don't argue tonight. Somebody there said, don't argue tonight. Somebody outside there, I said, don't argue you tonight. Because you know, tonight, Peter said, Lord, we've toiled all the night. We caught nothing. But at thy word, final. At thy word. Tell me the word. Final. I will throw down the net. So supernatural solution came. Where were these fish? Where were they before? Because now all the fish, when Christ comes into your life, when Christ comes into your profession, when Christ comes into your family, all the fish that you thought were not there before, they'll be running for your net. They will not be running away from your net. They'll be running into your net. And, uh, you know, they said you cannot reproduce. They said there is no cell there. There is no sperm there. There is nothing there. But I'm telling you, when Christ comes into your life tonight, miracle children will be running to your family. They say there is no money. They say there is no business. When Christ comes today, all the things you said, I tried, I tried, I tried. I'm not a lazy man, but I got nothing. Today you are getting something. And he threw their nets there, and then they caught, they caught. Because tonight, the Lord said, follow me, and I will make you. What he means is, I will repair your life. 
Tonight, it will repair your life. What he means is, I will restore your life. I will make you what you have been thinking you could be and you were not. Tonight, I will restore your life. Tonight, I will renew your life. A new life is coming. A new destiny is coming. Congratulations who are there tonight because Jesus said, I will. He will renew your life. He will remake your life. That life that is now mad, that life that is now distorted, that life that is now downgraded, that life that is, is looking like, what kind of life is this? What kind of father is this? What kind of mother is this? What kind of teacher is this? And what kind of profession is this? What kind of a neighbor is this? There's a remaking tonight. I said there's a remaking tonight. You know, even sometimes they'll say, you, you of all people, which you do say you go, me, I go to deeper life, you, deeper life, even me that don't go to deeper life, if I compare yourself with myself, I know where I am, I know where you are, all that reproach will vanish away tonight, because he will remake your life. I said he will remake your life, he's going to redeem your life. The life is lost, all energy is gone, and all you know excitement is gone, it's dull, it's dragging, it's like God when I Christ, when are you going to come? I'm tired, I can't live again. But now you will live today. Yeah. I said you will live today. Yeah. Depression will vanish away from your life. And all that despair will vanish away from your life. He will recreate your life. He will recover your life. He will save you. He will heal you. He will deliver you. He's going to transform your life today. And he'll preserve your life. He'll protect your life. He will perfect everything that concerns you. Have you ever seen perfection? Your life? Have you ever seen perfection? Healing, have you ever seen perfection? Miracle, have you ever seen perfection? It says, give that life to me. Give that broken life to me. Give that life that had that sin, give it to me. Give that life that is trotting down, give it to me. And then it says, wait there, and it goes to the workshop of heaven, and then it brings your life back. You say, is this my life? That life is new. Resurrection life. He'll give to you tonight in Jesus' name. That's why he says, follow me and I will make you. He's talking about me. I said, he's talking about me. And then he said, I will make you fishers of men. You know what? There's a Savior's satisfaction. You know, when somebody is like uh, those of us who have been teachers, after we have taught and taught and taught, and then we examine our children, we give them mock exam before they go for the real exam. And as we give the mock exam, and we have taught those uh, young people, and then we mark their scripts, we're satisfied. We'll say, now you can go for the real exam. Because we know what we've done, and Jesus Christ does the same. He looks at your life, he remodels your life, he remakes your life, he renews your life, he refreshes your life, he restores your life, he examines you from this angle, from this angle, from this angle, and he's satisfied, and he said, go and go and succeed. Go and go and prosper. Because... The Savior himself is satisfied with this one I have made. Not even an angel can find fault with this one. Because this one is remade. There is a Savior's satisfaction. He will make you the best beyond what you have ever been. Above what you have ever been. There will be satisfaction. There will be sufficiency. There will be sufficiency in your life. There'll be forgiveness. There'll be total freedom. Tonight, there'll be healing. There'll be total health. There'll be deliverance. There's no yoke that can stay there tonight when we mention the name of Jesus. 
there is no evil power and there's nothing walking about that can remain there tonight because you come into the hands of Jesus and he does something, he will not release you. He will not even say, okay, you can go now. He will look you over. He will see that there is no trace of oppression there anymore and there's no trace of a destruction there anymore and all the things then he will protect you. He will guard you. He will put a wall of fire around there and say, now you can go and see who can touch you. I said you can go and see who can touch you. Uh, that's what he does. That's what he does. Once you give yourself unto him, there will be peace, there will be prosperity. There will be usefulness, there will be fruitfulness. And then there will be hope of heaven and there will be a home in heaven. It says, now after he has prepared you and done everything he said, look up at me here. He looks at you and he says, now I'm going to prepare a place for you in heaven. When I go and prepare a place for you, what am I talking about? For you, I will come again and receive you unto myself so that where I am, there ye will be also. I am happy. I am excited. He called my name. He called me to him. And he said I shall come. And I come, and whosoever cometh unto me, I will in no wise cast out. Thank God tonight he called me and I answered. And thank God tonight is calling you and you will answer. Am I talking to somebody there tonight? Somebody with a mind to make a decision. Where is he? Somebody with a mind to say, Christ. I heard you today. I heard you double. I heard you when you first said come. And as I was getting ready to come, you gave a second call. Come. I know you are calling me. I know I'm the one you are talking about. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. I'm talking to you there now. The Lord is saying, today can be a new beginning in your life. A new day in your life. Outside, pay attention. Don't think about any other thing now. And don't look any other direction now. Because the Lord is coming your way. And he says, come unto me. And he's going to renew your life. He's going to refresh your life. Everything that is wrong in your life is going to take everything away to the total freedom total forgiveness and total renovation is going to bring it to your life today he says come 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 and as you give your life to christ tonight it will save you he'll forgive you he'll break every yoke in your life it will heal you it will deliver you it's going to make your life completely new what are you heads bowed and eyes closed you raise up your hand you say yes that's me that's me that's me something must take place in my life today it's waiting for you raise up the hand very well raise up the hand very well and say lord thank you god bless you there god bless you there god bless you there outside outside raise up your hand you are saying i've had the call i've heard the call i've had the challenge tonight and he's saying, come unto me, come unto me, Lord, I come. If you're raising up your hand, would you please stand up? You're raising up your hand, thank you, thank you. Would you please stand up? You're raising up your hand, would you please stand up? Wherever you are, wherever you are, you're saying, I come to the very hands of Jesus. I come to the embrace of Jesus. I come right now to the presence of Jesus, wherever you are. He wants to renew your life. He wants to change your life. He wants to turn everything around, the right side of your life. He wants to give you supernatural solution. Supernatural solution. Wherever you are, uh, outside and inside, you raise up your hand and you stand up. Outside, I'm waiting for you. Raise up your hand there outside and stand up and say, Lord, here am I today. Lord, here am I today. Lord, here am I today. I come for that renewal. I come for that salvation. I come for that forgiveness. I come for that freedom. I come for that change and transformation. Wherever you are, yes, Lord, yes, Lord. I answer you, yes, Lord. I answer, yes, Lord. I'll not say no. I will not say no. I will not say no i'm saying yes to the lord today uh, keep up your hand and keep on standing up those of us who are outside respond right now because he's calling you and he wants to make a new turn in your life outside outside raise up your hand there and stand up inside you raise up your hand and stand up as you are standing up just tell the lord between you and him right now lord i come 
Lord, I come. Lord, I come. I'll never go back again. Lord, I come. I'll never go back again. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. I come to your embrace. I come for your salvation. I come for your forgiveness. I come for that redemption. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. And I'll not go back to darkness anymore. That change you said you wanted to make, make it now in my life. He'll make it. He'll make it. He'll make it. In Jesus' name we pray. There is up that turn, and now you are raising up the hand as a sign of I surrender. I surrender. I surrender to Jesus, and I'm going to follow Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name. I thank you for all these uh, papas and mamas and brothers and sisters and young people, sons and daughters who have come to Christ tonight. Lord, I pray, forgive their past in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, new life will come to them. Forgiveness will come to them. Renewal will come to them. According to your promise, transform their lives in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray you'll be a witness in their hearts now, they're children of God. And let that new life be so real and be so definite that they will say, the things I used to do before, I cannot do them anymore. Let your grace come into their lives right now. Thank you, Lord, because I know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And the church said, Amen. Somebody said, praise the Lord. You are standing up for your miracle. And you are standing upon the top of your problem. They will not be in your body anymore. They will not be in your family anymore. Today, he will make you free. Free from sickness. Free from oppression. Free from every yoke. And free from every burden. He's going to do it now in your life in Jesus' name. You remember what he said? He said, follow me and tell me what follows. And I will make you. He'll make you strong. He'll make you healthy. And every yoke you drop here tonight in Jesus' name. All we need to do now is to indicate, yes, I'm asking for a particular blessing. I want healing. I want deliverance. I want miracle children. I want this. I want that. Whatever it is, you know it in your heart. Then you raise up your hand to know that. You indicate to the Lord, you want this. And then you lay the other hand upon yourself. If you are blind, you lay your hands on those blind eyes. If you brought anyone deaf and dumb, you lay your hands on them. If you have anybody that is paralyzed, cannot walk, arthritis or stroke or paralysis or broken bone, the Lord is going to do it right now. And then after we say, in Jesus' name we pray, there will be a final amen. After that final amen, that means it is so. That means it is done. I can't hear you could do amen. And then you check up yourself, you find the miracle is there. I will make, I will make, it's going to make it right now. You raise up one hand, you lay the other hand on yourself. And then when you hear the final amen, check up, it's done. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you because of the declaration of the Lord Jesus Christ tonight. Because he said he will make. He will heal. He will deliver. He will destroy the works of the devil. He will set us free. And therefore, Lord, we come right now. According to your word, you have chosen us. And you have ordained us so that we will bear fruit. Our fruit will remain. And whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever we ask the Father in his name, he will do it. This is the time, oh Lord, do it in every life in Jesus' name. I pray for any spirit of insanity or any spirit of madness or spirit walking about in the body or spirit of epilepsy there. Come out in Jesus' name. 
I pray for those who have any kind of swelling, fibroid in the body, swelling of cancer in the body, any kind of swelling tumor in the body, I command you there, come out in Jesus' name. That mountain of a problem in that person's life, I speak to that mountain. And I command that mountain of that problem, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who have uh, any kind of incurable disease, cancer, ulcer, or maybe high blood pressure, whatever. I pray the Lord touch you right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. I pray for those who have things walking about in their body, and I command those uh, walking objects, get out in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for those who have uh, any kind of uh, incurable disease like HIV AIDS, I speak to HIV AIDS right now. Be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who have asthma. Be healed in Jesus' name. And kidney problem, be healed in Jesus' name. That is your blood. Be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who are deaf and dumb. Touch those deaf ears now. Touch the dumb tongues right now. Deaf ear, begin to hear. Dumb tongues, begin to speak out. Lord, do it in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are blind. Lord, take that glaucoma away. Take that cataract away. And that bandage of the devil, I command you, be loose and come out in Jesus' name. I pray for those who are broken bones. Lord, by your mighty power, mend those bones, join them together. One leg shorter than the other. Let that short leg grow out now in Jesus' name. With that hands, be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those of arthritis, the pain of arthritis, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray any miracle your people need, any deliverance they need, and any kind of uh, breakthrough they need right now at this time. Give it to them in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, that inside, outside to the right, outside to the left, anywhere you are hearing the voice right now, receive your miracle. Receive your healing. Receive your freedom. The yoke is broken. The fetters are taken away. The curse is taken away. Your miracle is right there by your side. Receive it in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. I know it is done. In Jesus' name, hey. It is done. I said it is done. I said it is done. Check up yourself. The Lord has touched your life. The miracle is there. I said the miracle is there. You need to check up yourself right now. We are waiting for a shout of miracle. We are waiting for a shout of miracle. We are waiting for you so that you can come out here to share your testimony. The shout of miracle out there. The shout of miracle inside here. Our ministers, you should go all around now. And anywhere... You hear the shout of miracle. Let's bring the people out for testimony. Yes, we are waiting. Praise the living Jesus. The Lord has done it again. This is my, my landlord's wife. My landlord's wife. She cannot work for herself for the past two years. We have to order. You cannot take a step. Better than two steps. But tonight... I was one that we brought her here, and God has touched her. She's working by herself. Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! My, my name is Mrs. Mrs. Adishakin, Adishakin from Moro, Utah State. Also, be. I do meji at I do meji say I do meji to be to I do meji to the to the other thing to meet me living, but ni ni all on the phone can hear me. 
Oluwa ba mi Oluwa logo. Miracle of joy that bring tears. And you can see her. She is taking steps. She is moving. And the Lord has done it. A clap offering for the Lord. Praise the Lord. Yes, another testifier. Two minutes. Two minutes. Go fast, straight to the point. You share your testimony. Praise the Lord. I'm Rosaline Daniel. I have some severe pain in my left hand here. Over a year that I'm having it. But when, he say, when our father and the Lord said we should give our life to Christ, and when he said amen, the last answer, amen, um, any problem we carry into this place, it will be over. And I shout amen. I shake my hand and shake my hand. And to behold, the Lord healed me here. I'm gra very grateful. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. In the pain in the hand, that mysterious pain is gone. But move it forward for testimony. Move it forward for testimony. Wonderful. Young, old, God is doing it for everybody. No discrimination. Praise the Lord. My name is Ife Menamut. I am 10 years old. Since when I was 8 years old, I fell down and I have a dislocation in my hand. I couldn't, I couldn't put it to my shoulders. I went for treatment, but I couldn't put it to my shoulder. But after the prayer of the man of God, I can put my hand to my shoulder. Praise the Lord. Let, yes, that's wonderful. You see the hand on the shoulder. Praise the Lord. If you believe the Lord God will do it. Yes, yes. Another testifier. They come over here to share your testimony. A testimony, give it back to another testimony. As the people are sharing testimony, you are going to share your testimony. You are going to share your testimony. You will share your testimony. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I let him move as he be by. In Mogi, I draw Mogi, I draw and go. What if I say, make a lot of you to marry? What a thing, I let. Praise the Lord. Yes, I interpret her. What the young man said was that he had fracture on his leg and uh, before he could not walk, but after the prayer of the man of God, he's able to walk very well now. Praise the Lord! Yeah, that's what God can do. A miracle of healing. A God wrote a miracle. That's great. Yes, let's go straight to the point. Please Your testimony. Sir. Please, our Lord. Please, I'm, I'm, I'm very happy today because this is my child. Okay, this is my child. He has had a stroke since 2015. But he can't talk. It's when one of uh, our pastors came to our place uh, located to uh, on Sunday. Even though I'm not at home, but he gave message to me that I should bring my child to this place on Tuesday. Even though the pastor came to my house this morning, she gave me money to enter and transport from Mokele to, to here. She said, as she leaves early, I said, okay. But now, when, when the father preached to us, I saw my, my child is walking because I carried it from that place to here. But now she told me that, Daddy, I want to eat, but she can't talk it before. <laughs> this, since 2015, the mother died. We and him, she then would just sleep. That thing was happening to him. 
please, everybody, help me praise the Lord. Praise the Lord! You see what the Lord has done? You see wonderful thing? A, a little child like that, struck down with stroke, cannot walk. Since 2015, you can't imagine what the devil is doing. Tonight, tonight, the Lord raised him up. He can walk, he can talk. Praise the Lord! Yes? Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. My name is Samuel Blessing. At the age of seven, I was diagnosed with appendicitis. And since then, I've always been feeling pains in my tummy. It's always itching me. I'm always feeling severe pains. But I came here with the expectation I'm going to get my miracle. And after the prayer of the man of God, as in, so the simultaneous healing, I couldn't believe it. The itching was gone, the pain was gone, and I was free. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Instantaneous miracle. God is so great. He is doing it for everyone. Yes? More testimony? We are waiting. We are waiting. We are waiting. Our God is faithful. We are waiting. This God is great. Our God is the God of miracle. He's touching lives. He's touching men, he's touching women, touching boys and touching girls. Yes, our leaders, let's be very fast. We're waiting. Check your body as you are dead. You are not a spectator. You are a recipient of miracle. The Lord has brought you here to touch your life. So, check your body. Check yourself. Your miracle is there with you. Praise the Lord. God has been so good to me since I was small. I've been having tummy ache, like unstoppable tummy ache. But today, when Pastor was praying, I placed my hand on my tummy, and, and I felt like a ball of fire rolling out of my tummy, and God has healed me. I'm relieved. Praise the Lord! And since the baby, she used to have a stomach ache. But tonight, as daddy was praying, she said she felt a fire coming out of the stomach and she felt relieved. Hallelujah. And I also have a testimony. I've been having something moving all over my head and evil attachment on my forehead. But tonight, as pastor, as the pastor was preaching, I was feeling something coming out of my head. Something coming out of my head. And as he was praying, I felt so relieved. My head has been heavy. Everything has gone. Praise the Lord. 